Hey y'all, Chris Huffman here, coming to you from the trenches. Coming to you from the trenches. And you'll hear me say that quite often, and I don't know that I've ever truly explained it, but here's what I mean when I tell you I'm coming to you from the trenches, okay? I'm coming from a place where I've not reached the level of success that I want. The level of success that God's called me to. I've not reached the monetary level that's in my heart. I've not reached the business level that's in my heart. I've not reached the ministry level that's in my heart. I've not reached the marital in restoration of my marriage uh, that I want. But I'm coming to you from the trenches. What, what that means is... Out of thousands of people that are out there making videos and creating content that know so much more than me, make better content than me, are more professional, whatever. Okay, there's a there's a niche of people that are going to relate to me. But my point here is that it seems everybody is speaking and teaching and training from a place of success, from a place of experience. They're professionals. They've learned the game. They've won the game. And they are successful in their field. And that's awesome. They should be teaching from that platform. I've got no problem with that. But what I haven't seen are those guys or anybody else making videos when they were just trying, when they were just stepping out by faith, when they were just living day by day, or paycheck to paycheck, or job to job, burning candle at both ends, trying things out, praying and seeking God's face, in the sowing phase. Most of these guys are speaking from the reaping phase, and that's great. But I want to give people encouragement from the trenches. Out there fighting the battle. Out there confused. Out there scared. Out there wondering. Out there discouraged and sad. Nobody else around them. It doesn't seem like anything's working. I want to be the guy that stayed in the trenches and fought the fight, fought the fights every day and can it be an encouragement to you when you want to quit. Because I want to quit. I want to quit every day. I lay there in my bed today. And here's part of the being in the trenches. I'm homeless. Yeah, I'm homeless. I'm living in my church office on a cot with a memory foam. Taking my showers at the gym where I work out. Okay? And when you read the scriptures and see how often, and it's the majority of the time, when God ever used a man, he sent him through trials. He sent him through things that Nobody else understood that he didn't even understand. God sent him through things that made him look like an utter fool. Made him look like a crazy man. Joseph in a pit and in the prison. Moses out in, for, for 13 years before he became prime minister. Another seven to nine years before his brothers came and there was restoration. Moses... Out in the wilderness, being a lowly shepherd for 40 years. David for 13 to 15 years as a, sh- as a, as a young shepherd. And then another 13 years from when he was actually uh, anointed to be the king before he became the appointed king. This waiting and running and questions. It's part of life. So I'm coming to you from the trenches. So this this morning, I'm laying in bed. 
and I don't want to get up. And I'm telling God, Lord, I'd, I'd rather not get up today. In fact, I'd rather you just take me home. I'm tired of fighting down here. I'm tired of this life. I know you've called me to do a work, and I know it's going to come to pass. I've got no doubt it's going to come to pass. But it's this waiting. Yeah, and I said, Lord, I just want to go home this morning. Just take me home. What is the point of me still being alive on this planet? Well, I know the point. He's got a plan. He's called me to some things. He's called me to help some people. He's called me to help some get some men off the street. He's called me to help some churches. He's called me to live in financial abundance so that I can help others. Okay, he's got numbers and dreams and callings on my life and my heart. So I'm coming to you from the trenches. I've had a little bit of success, but it's up and down for me quite a bit. And it's day by day. I'm telling you right now, right now where I sit, I am negative $53 in the bank. 5 10 $6 to my name. And then I got a jar of quarters at the house. My little office. Last week I had $2,000. Three weeks before that, I made $7,000. Okay. The point is, I want to be an encouragement to you. Don't quit. Don't quit. Because you keep watching me, you're going to start seeing the victory videos. You're going to start seeing where I am making $30,000 a month. You are going to start seeing that, yeah, hey, I finally got my first coaching client. Yeah, you are going to see where I've got that $100,000 a year contract. Uh, with my brick and mortar business. You know, and right now, God's my marketer. He's made it clear. I don't even want you to try to market. I don't have the money to market. And let's just say $10,000 I spent toward marketing the last six years. Guess what? It's brought me zero return. I mean, Google ads, paying for guys to do my SEO, to run my ads, all that stuff. Okay, it's not brought me any return on my investment. Which, hey, so, you know, hey, God's got to be my marketer. So you know what I can do? I can continue to work on these books he's told me to write. These training manuals he told me to write. Putting my sermons into book form. Studying and writing sermons. Putting content out like this to help you. And for me not to chase the money. Just to, just to sow the seed. Just to be the soldier. Just to fight the fight. Just to get up every day, look to him, fight the fight, step into my calling. I mean, I've got six books, six little manual books that are about this thick together. Training manuals, sermon manuals, prayer manuals, men manuals. And I've got another stack of papers that ain't in book form yet. I just keep doing it. I just keep doing it. He inspires me and he leads me and I just keep doing it. Marketing is my nemesis. That's why I feel peace when he told me, just let me be a marketer. Because me trying to learn market, and, and I don't have the money to spend toward marketing, uh, so I just do what I can. Put my stuff on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, wherever. But I'm coming to you from the trenches. Just keep fighting. Rest in him. Go through my content. There's plenty of Bible teachings and, and faith-building exercises, and there's just more coming. Get all you can, but don't quit. Don't quit. We've got to go through the sowing period. We've got to go through the waiting period. And he wants to make sure that you're going to be faithful. He that is faithful in little will be faithful in much. He, can, if he can trust you with the little, he'll entrust you with much. So let's just do that. This is Chris again coming to you from the trenches. 
keep your eyes on him.